How many of you have heard of an IBEX? If you know, okay, don't, don't say what it is. If you know what an IBEX is, I want you to raise your hand. So Dylan raised his hand. Pastor Ken knows. Um, Daryl knows. Okay, so you're not allowed to answer the next question. How many of you think an IBEX is a computer? Raise your hand. Okay, nobody. What do you think an IBEX is? Somebody give me an answer. Sue? You got your phone No, don't Google. No Googling. It's not fair. Nope. No Googling. You have to use your minds. Does anybody have a guess what an IBEX is? Is it a cat? Okay. Ron thinks it's a cat. Anybody else want to guess? Okay. A foreign car. A foreign car. Could be. I'd never heard of an IBEX before. What's Ellie think an IBEX is? A computer. A computer? That's, that, it sounds like a computer, doesn't it? Okay, Dylan, tell everybody what an IBEX is. What is it? Yes, an Ibex is a goat. And here in a few minutes, I'm going to put up on the screen the mighty Ibex. So, first I want to read to you from the Positive Thinkers Bible, which I love. It's, uh, it's the one that the church Robert Schuller Crystal Cathedral put together. And it's tied, entitled, On the High Places. The Strong Determine Ibex scales the steepest cliffs with rapid agility, nimbly, nimbly leaping up the sheer face of the rocks. Found throughout the wilderness, the ibex has symbolized beauty to the people of ancient times. It is not uncommon to see herds of ibex scale and descend more than 20 mountains a day. It's amazing how the ibex can use only a small crack in the sheerest cliff as a foothold to leap two or three yards. Usually traveling in herds of 30 or more, the ibex feed on the leaves of small bushes and trees, scantily dotling, dot, dotting the mountaintops. Upon the approach of an enemy or introducing or intruding predator, sorry about that, the ibex will leap quickly up the side of the cliff to a higher ground. The biblical writer draws from the agility of the ibex to describe the power of God in, in one's life. And this is from 2 Samuel chapter 22, and it's verse 34. And this is how God helps us. He makes my feet like the feet of the ibex and sets me on the high places. God makes us like the ibex when faced with a mountainous problem. We can climb over it straight up with grace and agility. We can leap over our problems, even with the smallest footholds. Then we can stand on the high places. So the next time you're facing an uphill battle, remember the Ibex. And now we're going to show you what they do. Look at that. Look at all those Ibex. He slipped, but he didn't fall. Next time you have a problem, remember the Ibex.